George Flanagan, what does that performance, that result say about the character of the, the team, especially after that disappointing performance against York on Monday? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we spoke about putting a few wrongs right this week and uh, I thought we did that in abundance today. Do you know, there's no question about it, Witness are an absolute quality team, they've got quality right across the board and we spoke about that uh, individually and collectively. Um, but just, uh, I'm, I'm just absolutely proud of punching the mentality of the team today. We did not crumble. Um, and I, myself, I think it was like 28 minutes, 29 minutes in that first half where the ball didn't go out of play. So um, credit to the boys, we stuck in there. A few individual areas, but that's part and parcel of the game. But other than that, I'm absolutely proud of punching the boys today. The mentality was absolutely superb. Are these the games that you feel you thrive in, these low scoring, tight affairs where potentially blink and you miss it and that's the game though. Well I don't enjoy it, that is for sure. But, um, no, but that's that's that that, that wins that the mentality just grows from that because you know you have got players outside you are gonna go if somebody makes a mistake if somebody's got your back and that's the culture and the environment we're working in this year. Um, so yeah I, I, I just think right across the ball we're under seventeen we're outstanding today and it's a tough old, it's a tough old gig. It, it was a tough old gig out there but uh, like I say, I'm just uh, Mapu got the win. Describe as your emotions, feelings when Tom Holmes crosses with 60 seconds to go and there's this delirium on the terraces. Yeah, well, I've just been talking to George. Will it change the rooms then? I mean, they did a short kickoff just after that and George is screaming at me saying, George, we're losing. I went, no, we're not, we're winning. We'll just kick to go, we're winning. Um, but yeah, when Tom Holmes went over and, uh, you know, I was speaking to some individual before the game and when I do score, the, the emotions kick in and don't be, there'll be a day when I don't ever, ever get to celebrate them kind of things. So today, every time there's something good happens with this club, uh, I'm happy to just jump up back a bit and just show me emotions because I care passionately. And that roar of the crowd, you know, especially after Monday, does that feel like that's their sort of validation that, you know, you have shown that character, you have given that effort and that energy today? Yeah, there is that, there is that. But look, we're not getting carried away, it's, it's, it's round three. Um, we had a good first first round, disappointing second uh, second round against York. We know we went, we went there probably with the wrong attitude, um, thinking that we were just going to roll them and uh, we didn't. And uh, I'm just happy that we, we bounced back and we spoke about our own form being absolutely super, uh, one of his main points this year. Uh, obviously, I, was, uh, I don't want to dwell on it too much or I'll speak about it, but obviously last year we weren't the best uh, and probably we lost a lot of people to that. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm just proud of the boys today. It's round three. We're not getting carried away. We've got to, uh, we've got a two tough assignments coming up. So, like I say, yeah, we'd like it for the boys and get the two points, and and uh, hopefully the fans can go out, uh, go home tonight with a smile on the face and enjoy beer. What can you tell us about George Rowe? Because uh, he come on, took you off. I think minute number twenty-seven, and um, probably just like you do sometimes, George. He had that, he had that impact, that spark. Yeah, the roles reversed, haven't they? This this time. Um, but yeah, uh, Robes has come in and his, his attitude and uh, his, his enthusiasm and his, and his zip part of my half is, is electric. He's, he is really fast and, and dynamic and a few months ago I wouldn't like that. But uh, as time's gone on, I've, I've, I've uh, as pre-season's gone this year, I spoke to Mark about me starting more games, being more composed and uh, being a bit smarter around there. So obviously working as a spine with Holmesy and uh, Jordy and Deck and uh, obviously young George and Miles. Uh, we're working as a unit and we really need to put the put that together to obviously guide us around the field and I feel like this year has is, is, is changed a lot in terms of what uh, a structure, structure wise definitely. Sorry, Matt. So, do you see a little bit of George Rugby in yourself, so the younger version perhaps, are there, are there sort of a few traits? Yeah, yeah, there is there, um, obviously I mean, I, I speak to Robes daily and every time we're at training I'm we're always tipping each other up and, and Rob is one of them. You've just got to let, if, if a player just wants to play, you just got to just let him play and if he sees gaps and he might go, he might go three times in one set on the line, but, but that one time he might get that five, po five points what we need. So yeah, he's, he's, he's a good little player, he's Rob, and uh, I'm sure you'll see the best of him in coming weeks. And yeah, obviously Mark was talking about Kevin Apple, and how well he sort of settled in and what a good start is that. You said he can't understand the words you say. Yeah, well that's it. Um, <laughs> But when Kev came over, uh, and obviously he's, he's living with somebody else at the minute, and I, and I said when when I'm off, I'm not working and stuff like that. I go uh, and pick him up. So I took him down uh, when he first arrived on the Thursday. I think it was. I came down to took him down to Dudley Hill on the Saturday. Uh, make sure he goes to the Dudley Hill side of Radford, and <laughs> I took him to Dudley Hill. Then we went to uh, Birkinshaw. So I just got into used to the environment. And, you know, when he's come out, out, um, halfway across the world, and he just wants somebody there with him to have a chat with, and he always says to me, "I can never understand what I'm saying," but uh, I'm trying to get used to it.
So you sort of, sort of tour guide. Yeah, it's important though, isn't it? as you say, because he's he's over here and it's you know it's very different for him. And well, he's got a wife, he's got a girlfriend and kid back home. And uh, me and young George said, oh, obviously, oh, come on, we'll, we'll go take Kev out for the day. And that's sort of what I thrive on. I, I want the best for the teammates. I want best for the club. And uh, when Kev came out halfway across the world with nobody with him, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I want some people there supporting him and showing him around the place. So I even took it to Master's Chicken and he yeah, said he absolutely loved that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll vouch for that, Jim. <laughs> yeah. I told him it's the best chicken shop in, in, in Europe. And he, he, he totally agreed with me. He took his free breast and chips home with him and he just said, oh, I absolutely love it, love it. So, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, well, you know, if you're happy off the pitch, you know, he can focus on the game and then go because he's, you know, he's enjoying it. Well, that's it. It's, it's, it's come. It's come from a di totally different environment, a different culture, and everything back home with him. And uh, with, uh, every one of the lads have welcomed him with open arms. You know, he's, he's going around the gym and uh, around Tong, and he's got this beaming smile on his face, and you can't help but not love the guy. He's uh, he's, he's, a, he's a good character, and I'm sure he'll grow as the game goes on. Because I thought he was absolutely superb when he came on. He had a great impact straight straight away. Didn't yeah, he did, and uh, I think we're going to see the be best of him in, in coming weeks. You know, he's still getting used to the players and the calls and everyone tipping him up on what to do. But um, yeah, I, I commend him on what he did today. I thought we were absolutely superb when he came on. And you say to lose next week, you know, you go in on the back of two home wins, which is what we talked about. But I mean, those sort of challenges, is it one you can sort of look forward to and sort of you know, relish in the build up? Yeah, I think we've got to. We've got to. Um, you know, we've set our goals personally in, in house uh, of what we want to achieve this year. and. Uh, I spoke to a number of people in, uh, a couple of weeks ago about I want I want to win this competition. People might write us off and, and, and say what they want, but uh, if you sit your stall out and, and you want to be winning uh, and uh, create that winning environment, you need to be knocking these teams off. And I've got full confidence we'll back up next week and we, if we turn up with the right attitude and uh, the right mentality uh, that we don't break and uh, defensive graphic was if we're good, well then we can get a result. And the fact that you've, you know, you've put yourself up against one of the best teams in the competition, so it's, it, it's a good yardstick. And if you don't beat them, at least you can say, well, we need to do more this or we need to do more that. It, it sort of shows where you are and it as a new team. Yeah, of course it does. And I think if you look at our, our, our performance today, you know, I, I said I'm not getting it carried away, but you would, uh, if we go back to last year, I think we lose that, we lose that game by maybe 18 points. Um, but defensively, I thought we were absolutely superb, solid as a unit. Uh, and like I say, we've got two tough assignments coming up uh, in Toulouse and Feth, but we'll take it week by week. We'll we'll prepare right. We'll enjoy tonight, obviously, but uh, we'll have a good week this week in training, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the boys will turn up next week because uh, we want to make this place a fortress, and, uh, and, and I'm pretty confident we will.